Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks for Microsoft Live at EDU. My name is Evan Archella and I'd like to talk with you about some basics for Microsoft SkyDrive. Microsoft SkyDrive is part of the Live at EDU technologies and if you go to office.live.com in your browser it will redirect you to the SkyDrive homepage. You may have to sign in first if you're not already signed in with your Windows Live ID. If you'll go over here to the Windows Live ID field put in that ID. It's typically going to be the same email address that you've historically used, only now it's provisioned as a Live at EDU account. You'll be able to go ahead and sign in to that service. This is the office.live.com page, the SkyDrive home page, and it's broken out into a, a few different areas here. On the left-hand side, you're going to see links to all of the folders that you might have created within SkyDrive, both personal and shared folders. In the middle, you'll see recent documents. So those things that you might have been working with on SkyDrive are going to be populated in this field. Just gives you quicker access to be able to get back into those documents. And on the right-hand side, you're going to see Create a New Online Document. And here you'll see icons for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. These are what we call the Office Web Apps, and these were introduced and integrated into SkyDrive as part of the Office 2010 launch. You can use these to edit and uh, work on these documents in the browser as well as open them up in the full application if you happen to have Office installed locally on that particular machine that you're using. We'll talk a little bit more about Office Web Apps as we get further into the screencast series. Also like to talk about for a second here the Messenger Social capabilities. Messenger Social is essentially a social networking piece of SkyDrive. For most K-12 institutions, you're probably not going to do too much with this. Reason being that you're also running the Outlook Live email solution, the hosted exchange solution within your environment. Outlook Live is an organizationally owned tool, meaning that your district, uh, the State Department of Education, has visibility into the information within Outlook. They can enforce certain types of policies on that information. And there's a bit of a wall kind of built around that solution to be able to give you that control. Because of that, you want to think about Outlook Live as the primary place to go for communicating with other people. So whether it's emailing, whether it's uh, looking up someone's contact, all of that type of activity, you want to do it within Outlook Live and not necessarily within Messenger Social. Uh, Messenger Social is still here because what you have is essentially the public version of SkyDrive made available for you as an education customer. What I mean by that is if you already had a Windows Live ID, like a Hotmail account that you had in the past, or maybe you've gone out and created one for yourself as a consumer, you would basically get the same SkyDrive experience as you'll get logging in with your Live at EDU account. The primary difference is the existence or the non-existence of advertising. So over in this white space that you see underneath these icons, if you had signed in as a consumer using a consumer Windows Live ID, you would see a web banner here with advertising. For education, we didn't want students and teachers to have to, to be subjected to that advertising, so we stripped it out of the accounts that are using Live at EDU Windows Live IDs to sign in. So when you sign in, you won't see the presence of advertising here, but you also should be aware that Messenger Social is still in play, and you may get friend requests from people um, in terms of your Windows Live network, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you just want to make sure that if, if you're talking communication, you're talking about uh, you know, emailing, contacts, even instant messaging if you're using that feature integrated in Outlook Live. You always want to be doing those things from Outlook Live. If you want to eliminate friend requests so you don't want to receive those coming in, you can come up here to your profile. It's right underneath your name and you can go into your privacy settings and set it to private and then you won't receive any more uh, friend requests through the messenger social functionality. Those are the, the major areas of the SkyDrive homepage. Real quick, if we come over into our folders, again, that's on the left-hand side. I could jump into My Documents, for example. Let me give you a sense of the interface here. So we've got some files here. Across the top, what you see is a command bar. These are folder-level command options. So everything in here relates to the specific folder itself. 
If I hover over some files down here, you'll see that I'll get some file level commands. So all the commands that you see here relate specifically to that particular file. So two different types of command bars to keep in mind. One for the folder and then one for each individual file. We'll talk about our next screencast, how to upload content into your SkyDrive. So how do you get the information here? We'll look at that in the next screencast. Let me give you some resources to think about. Here's some links for more information on Live at EDU. I've um, also included here the help.outlook.com for the Outlook Live solution as well. And also a search term there for Bing. If you go out to Bing and search for Office Web Apps Product Guide, you'll find a nice PDF with a breakdown of all the features within the Office Web Apps. And I look forward to, to having you on my next screencast.